Here's the most important planning consideration of all. Are viewers expecting a story? I'm going to show you two versions of the same graph, the traditional version and the storytelling version. Here's the traditional version up first. We're just pretending that we gave a survey to elementary school students and we asked them what their favorite ice cream flavor was and presented the votes in a graph. So in this traditional version, we've got a topical title. The topic, ice cream flavor preferences, is in the title, but there's no so what, there's no takeaway message. And the colors are all exactly the same. It's not that one bar stands out over another. It's up to the viewer to read into the graph and figure out what the message is. Here's the same graph, but the storytelling version. You use dark colors to guide people's eyes to one section of the graph over the other, and then you rewrite your title and you state your takeaway message directly in the title. Chocolate was the most popular ice cream flavor among the 216 students who voted in the survey. So it's really just a difference of the title and then the color. Let's look at another example. Here's the traditional view. It's a fictional slope chart talking about project results before and after the grant with project A, B, and C all compared. Topical title. We know generally what the graph is about, but there's no takeaway message. There's no so what in the title. And all of the lines on this slope chart, they're all the same color, so it's not that project A or B or C really stands out more than the other one. The storytelling version would be, guide people's eyes to one section of the graph with a darker color and then rewrite the title state the takeaway message directly in the title project a improved the most after the four-year grant funding same techniques as before a storytelling title and dark colors here's the final example it's a little bit different from the ones before number of studies funded each year we've got the topic in the title but there's no takeaway message there's no so what and we can just generally see the shape of the line the storytelling approach would be rewrite the title state the takeaway message directly in the title we're funding more studies the graphs going up for written projects you can add a subtitle Beginning in 2013, we set aside new funding to measure the effectiveness of our initiatives. You usually have the subtitles hiding in the paragraphs up above or hiding in the paragraphs down below in your document. So what I want to encourage you to do is reread those paragraphs that you wrote, you know, the day before or the week before when you were doing your drafting and just grab the key phrase that you already wrote about and just stick it right next to the graph so that even as people are skimming your report, they still know what the key message was and they've got the milestones and history they need. And here's a final technique to make this one shine. It's an annotation. An annotation is just a fancy word for a text box. In PowerPoint or Word, you just go to insert text box, just like you've done a million times before. Annotations are a great way to add milestones to graphs or add some historical information and add some context like this one that in 2013, a new policy was introduced. And that's probably what was going on contextually to make that line sharply increase. It's not that one approach is better or worse than the other, but I'm here to bring you over to the storytelling side in the rest of these videos. So most of you were trained in the traditional way. I know I was. This is how I had to write all my papers and format my graphs in graduate school, the one on the left. And even after graduate school, I worked in a university setting and churned out peer reviewed journal articles with my coworkers. And this is what we did. This is what was expected of us. But in the real world, in a lot of different scenarios, I'm expected to do the storytelling version, the one on the right. This is what my audience is hoping for. This is what they're expecting. They want the storytelling title. They want the clear subtitle. They want the darker colors. They want the annotations. It saves them a lot of time so they don't have to do all of that interpretive work themselves. They're trusting me to interpret the graph for them. I'm not telling them what to do. I'm not saying like, now you must do this and take action. And, you know, I'm not in an advocacy role like that. I'm just helping them read, you know, what are the highs and the lows in the graph? Are things generally increasing over time or decreasing? Why or why not? Why are we seeing this pattern? So here's your opportunity to weigh in. This is an important one, so I, I hope you don't skip this activity. I want you to comment below and let me know whether your work generally falls on the left or whether your work generally falls on the right. Are your audiences generally expecting a traditional approach or are they generally expecting a storytelling approach? And then give me examples of audiences that are on either side. So what type of audience 
audiences prefer traditional and what types of audiences prefer storytelling. In my work nowadays, I, I'm usually on the storytelling end, but sometimes I have to be able to go back and forth. So let's work together and brainstorm about when each scenario is the best bet for different types of audiences. Thanks so much.